Welcome to ECE 761 Robotics. This is the introduction and syllabus to the course. Now the course is located online on Bison Academy. This has all the lecture notes on a daily basis, as well as videos, which currently aren't linked, but soon they will be, some sample code you can use, and the homework sets. The objective of the course is to give you the mathematics behind robotic manipulators, We'll be starting out talking about some matrix algebra and then going into rotation tra and translation matrices. Essentially with a robot, you want to go from say shoulder joint to elbow joint to wrist joint. To do that, I have to have a translation going from shoulder to elbow, elbow to wrist, and a rotation. Given rotation and translations, I can figure out where the tip of the robot is based upon the joint angles. The reference frame is a standard way to define how do we go from different coordinate systems, from shoulder coordinates to elbow coordinates to wrist coordinates? We'll then look at specific robots, uh, the Rhino robot and a Puma robot. Given the joint angles, I can tell you where the tip position is. The inverse kinematics is going backwards. Given the tip position, what are the joint angles? After that, we'll start talking about path planning. If I know where the tip is supposed to be, to find the joint angles to follow a certain path, but keep the acceleration finite. Typically, accelerations related to current, if I want to have finite current or finite voltages, I need to keep the acceleration finite. Then we'll look at pro robot programming. Having a uh, robot go from point A to point B, how to calculate the joint angles that do that. Next, we'll be looking at dynamics robots. Robots are inherently nonlinear, so we have a formulation of dynamics that handle nonlinearities. That's the Lagrangian formulation. And we'll simplify it slightly, just go ahead and do a two-link arm. The math gets kind of ugly when you get into nonlinear systems like this. So we'll just look at a two-link planar robot, trying to have a two-link arm try to trace out squares. The last week of the semester, we'll get into Jacobians. Instead of trying to coordinate, control it in joint coordinates, can I control it in XY coordinates? Or what happens when I impact a surface? That's the course what we'll be covering. For course information, I'm Jake Lauer. The start of the classroom is a flipped classroom. Typically, each day, we'll have a short lecture. All the lectures are online on Bison Academy. There's a corresponding video that you can watch. There will also be class hours. Uh, the class is really a flipped classroom. The lecture notes, the videos are there to let you give you the information you need to do the homework. The office hours are to help if you you don't know, need help to do the homework. Really, if you can do the homework without attending class, that's completely fine. The office hours will be on Zoom from Monday through Friday, 11 to 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., two different times because several students are working, so they can't make the daytime hours. Uh, some people are not working, but evening commitments can't make the evening hours. So we have two different sets of office hours. Uh, you're welcome to join either one or both, or neither, your pick. As long as you can do the homework, that's really all I, all I care about. The textbook, again, all the lecture notes are posted online. There's YouTube videos online. The classroom, of course, is Zoom. I'll send people out the link on Zoom a little bit later. If you want to turn your homework, you can demonstrate your homework on Zoom or send me an email. The objective is by the end of the semester, you can take a point from one coordinate frame to translate it to another. You can determine the tip position of a robot given the joint angles. That's forward kinematics. You can determine the joint angles given the tip position. That's inverse kinematics. You'll be able to determine the dynamics of a robot, the Lagrangian dynamics, and determine the tip forces required to apply force. Uh, the resources you're going to need in this class is internet access, of course, because that's where all the lecture notes and YouTube videos are. We'll be using MATLAB extensively, so we'll need MATLAB. And optional, there's quite a few good books on robotics. The ones I like are Introduction to Robotics by Craig and Robot Manipulators by Paul. Uh, the class organization, as I mentioned, this is really a flipped classroom. The class time is really to help you do your homework. You don't have to be there during class times, uh, but I'm there to help if you do need help. Uh, typically, the class will just have a short introduction on the day's topics and explanation of the homework sets. Then I'll be there to help if you have problems with the programming. 
and zooms at two different times. The homework assignments are due on a daily basis. Uh, office hours at 11 to 1. That gives me time in the morning between 8 and 11 to get the homework sets graded. So as long as you get the homework sets turned in before I start grading them, that's fine. A couple ways to demonstrate your homework. You can make a YouTube video and send me the link demonstrating that it works. You can attend one of the Zoom sessions and share your screen. That also works. Or you can just do screen captures and send me that. Uh, whatever works for you. Grading is based entirely on the homework. The concepts um, are a little bit strange trying to get rotation translation matrices. As long as you get the homework to work, that's really my objective. That's kind of the demonstration that you're kind of getting the concepts of the class. And legal stuff. So that's the class 761. It's kind of a fun class and hope you're going to enjoy it. We'll be covering the rest of the topics in the upcoming videos.